okay in our uh, last session we learned about you know uh, how to create a story and uh, how to create this uh, bar column chart and uh, stacked bar column chart and in today's session we are going to see how to cre create this combination of column and line chart okay and the combination stacked column and waterfall also let's look into it so what i am going to do so uh, currently i am in a story creation and you know i am consuming classical story creation this is so when i go to the data set so what we can do so in the classical design by here by selecting any you know for example amount kpi and the plant so if i select both what will happen sap here suggests one chart so i am copying this bar column chart into my page one and now uh, go to the design panel here we are going to apply comparison chart you know going to comparison chart and applying this combination of column and line what exactly is this combination of column line let's look into that one so the combination chart is a visualization that combines the future of the bar chart and the line chart here it means uh, uh, um, along with the bar chart we can create one line uh, line chart also means we can show one line the combination chart displays the data using number of bars or lines each of which represents a particular category but there is a disadvantage of this combination chart also what is it the combo chart only supports one dimension and therefore cannot be used to include two or more dimensions it means what exactly it is so if you go here here you see we have an option to uh, define more dimensions but if you go for more dimensions uh, it doesn't give you the proper representation you cannot you know understand anything out of it so first let's look into this uh, combination chart how to create it then we will see the multiple dimensions also so currently this is a uh, bar chart so when I, I can add one more kpi here so i'm adding quantity also so uh, means i have now two quantities amount and quantity um, two KPIs, amount and quantity. So for the plant dimension, but you see because it is both are showing in different way. So what I am going to do now, I am changing it to combination column. Already it is there. So what I am going to say do is um, this quantity instead of adding it in the measure, what you can do is uh, on the line axis. If you hear, you have two axes, column axis and line axis. So this is column axis, which is amount currently it is showing on the column level. It means here in this column, you know. Um, now on the go to the line axis, there select the quantity. So, so um, adding it on the line axis, it will give a different kind of line. You see now one is bar bar column another one is line dotted so this bar is showing the amount kpi and this dot you know which is coming in this line format is showing the quantity so we can compare the you know values so bar column chart is uh, with this bar and line chart mainly used to compare the two different kpis with respect to one dimension so when talking about the other one okay so what is the other one combination combination stacked column chart if you go here so what is happening if I go here, you see on the left hand side, this is stacked one. So similarly, how we define the stack here also, we can define stack one. So it means uh, I can go to the color combination, add one more uh, K -pro dimension here of type material group, for example. If I do so, what happened, you see this particular each amount was split into material groups. So this blue is metal group one and this, uh, you know, orange is metal group two. But according to each dimension, it is creating one one line also okay so when you uh, see this kind of chart now it is a it is a bit difficult you know you cannot uh, interpret anything out of this picture that's why you know uh, doing this kind of charts is not so helpful unless we are able to read it properly so uh, better to use always go for a combination column chart with only one dimension okay um, sorry i did something wrong i removed this uh, plant from here so the next, uh, moving to the next one. So what is it, material group? Let me remove material group here. So now next, what we're going to learn is comparison with the, in the waterfall chart. What is waterfall chart? Let's look into that once. Okay, so waterfall chart, a waterfall chart can be used for analytical purposes, especially for understanding or explaining the gradual transition in the quantity value. Okay, this is the important one, gradual transition in the quantity value. So to understand this, let's create a chart, then I can explain you this in, in clearly. Okay, so now here what I'm going to, I'm going to data part, I'm going to bring this uh, chart one more time into my uh, page one. Okay, it is not always mandatory to go there and bring here, if you can create, you can add chart directly here also. Okay, so from where, um, by selecting on this one, 
uh, from here you can add charts you see insert chart so by clicking here you can insert chart here and then uh, change the type to whatever you want but what happens if I click on chart from the more options so here when I click here uh, a system proposes different things here I can add whatever it is okay this way also we can do it uh, but um, you know to make it simple I am going from here so now in this chart what I am going to do I am changing this comparison chart of type to waterfall okay so now I am changing the vertical also from horizontal to vertical you know uh, orientation so now I have here like this now what I am going to see under the dimensions it is saying at most two dimensions can be used it means only two dimensions you can add here one or two not more than that so now I am adding one more dimension to show you how exactly waterfall you know works here I am adding middle group here okay so when I add material group here what is it how it is showing now let's see waterfall so what we seen in the presentation a waterfall will show gradual transition in the quantity value okay it means if you see for plant one the total quantity amount here is a 86 okay 0.16 and for plant two it is 62.69 so compared to plant one to plant two it was decreased so how exactly it was decreased on what measures that is nothing but comparison so if you see here um, okay let's uh, make it bring it to downside maybe then I can expand it more okay or else uh, what I can do I can apply you know filter on the plant dimension instead of showing all plants let's take only two plants uh, to get a uh, you know a smaller chart here and uh, let's uh, let's take three plants for better to four. Hmm. If you see here from comparing to plant one to plant two, what is happening? Uh, it was decreased. If I when I when I put my cursor on this one, it is telling compared to middle group one plant two, the baseline is middle group one. Base is nothing but this one. Compared to middle group one, um, sixteen point three six, it is dis, uh, decreased okay so material group one plant one compared to plant one material group one and to plant two material it is was decreased to 16.36 and to and material group two also decreased up to 7.11 now when comparing plant two to plant three so material group one is increased by you know uh, 5.07 and uh, group two was increased uh, to 7.69 so why in using waterfall method we can tell um, the comparisons uh, we can do a comparison between previous and current you know uh, following like this so in the ppt also what exactly we are seeing a waterfall shows a running total as a values are added are subtracted running total so to get the plant to value if I do summation of all these three then I get the plant to value and if I do the summation of uh, from here to here then I get the plant three there is one running totals okay so this is how we represent uh, data using a uh, waterfall representation okay uh, we will continue for the topics in next session